right, Doc. What's going on? Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? Holy crap! That's today! Guys, it's finally here, the day Marty and Doc go back into the future, and fans everywhere, like myself, are nerding out in every possible way. The ride-hailing service Lyft is getting in on the fun. With help from Verizon, it's offering free rides in one-of-a-kind DeLoreans across New York City. USA Today also getting in the spirit, distributing the replica newspaper cover where Martin McFly Jr. made some headlines. If you remember it, 2015 looked pretty cool in 1989. While some predictions were dead on, others were a little off. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Well, Doc, you're dead wrong about this one. In 2015, roads are very much still in use and flying cars are not a thing. But we're closer than ever to hovering. I need to borrow your hoverboard. Just like Marty McFly rode in the movie, Lexus recently released a similar hoverboard that runs on a magnet. They're still working out the kinks, but it's legit. <laughs> We're still waiting on those self-lacing shoes from Nike, but what we do have, 3D movies. Just not 3D billboards, and Jaws 19 never made it to theaters. One thing that Back to the Future hit right on the nose, video conferencing. Skype, FaceTime, you name it, we have it. And teenagers still preoccupied with technology. Dad, it's for you. And the one thing the movie got totally wrong, Wait a minute. Cubs win World Series. Yep, even though they're in the playoffs, the Cubs are one game away from being eliminated. Thanks to the New York Mets. If only they could have predicted the birth of baby Daniel Murphy. I'm Angie Ramos, Pix 11 News.